hello everyone so today we are going to work on this so when i hover over a select selectable character my cursor changes into a hand and this red one is an enemy character so if i select one of these characters and hover over red character which is an enemy my cursor changes into this knife icon with some animation so to show that we can attack this guy so this is what we are going to work on today how to have these animated cursors based on different behaviors of objects okay so to show that the character is selectable uh, when i go closer to the character when I hover over the character, I need to change my cursor into something else. So to do that, let me first open the player controller class, this top down controller. And here, do we have an interface? Yeah. I'll add two functions. One is on hover, and the next is clear hover. So later on, I might need some other types of uh, some way to define what type of icon that I should show when we hover. But for now, I'll, I won't think about that. So here, under interfaces, here, on the fork, under interfaces on hover. So here, I'll uh, set current mouse cursor. Set current mouse cursor. So for a selectable actor, I need to show the hand and similarly for clear hover i'll set current mouse cursor to not none default right now let's go into this character and here i think we need to enable mouse over events oh no it's not for character so now we can let's the begin play now we don't have one okay so i'll add begin play <laughs> Here, point event to begin cursor over, and another one point event to end cursor over. So, here I'll add a event. Um, our peggy so here what we need to do is get player controller set now our peggy no on hover We need to call this function similarly here also i'll add a event and hover i'll name it same as before get player controller and call clear hover
okay shall we check now see now when i go over this character my cursor changes to a hand and i can click on the character and select All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye. Uh, maybe that's not enough for an episode. Okay. Uh, now let's say we have some enemy character. Well, let me go here and define no let's create a child blueprint p top down and so to have a visual distinction let's create a material instance and change this tint to red it's the easiest way to make it look like enemies Okay, now I'll put this enemy character also here. So far, they are not attacking or anything. It's just just a character that we have. Okay, now if I have selected the character and if I hover over an enemy, I should show like an attack icon instead of the hand so to do that first let me add a parameter here on hover do we have inbuilt uh cursor type no no let's just have a simple boolean enemy this is not enough later on we might need something like a enumerator to have different types but for now let's just make it an enemy and in here i'll remove this two variable enemy by default this would be false it's false but for the top down enemy character I'll mark it as true now in here by the way I'm having a little cold so sorry if my sound is different um, right here now we can do a select based on this value so let me get some space if it is false we can show the hand because we can select if it is true let show crosshairs because it represents that like some aiming or something but we are going to change that anyway so it doesn't matter now see it changes to crosshairs but i need to only show this crosshairs only if um i have a selected character because in order to do some attack we need to first select a character that's why so get selected actor and check if it is valid 
only if valid we need to show that cursor now we don't see the cursor but if I select an actor now we see it changes into a crosshair so the next step is instead of crosshair I need to show some actual knife like icon so let's create a new folder UI assets here actually I have already created an icon for this so this knife icon let me create a widget wdg mm, cursor attack uh, I think we need a canvas panel anyway so let's add a canvas panel and oh I should have created this outside okay let's drag and drop this knife icon I'll set the anchor to 